Welcome back to yet another Code Zonk video. We're going to be shifting gears a little bit today and we're going to go back to the iPad and we're going, to, we're going to be actually looking at an iPad app today that is called Lightbot, which is made specifically to teach kids how to code. Let me first take me or take you into the App Store just so I can show you how it is that I found this because there's a couple of options to choose from. I'll show you what I did. I went ahead and I did a search for Lightbot up here in the corner and that's going to bring me a handful of results. And you see there's a, a number of options to choose from. Some of them actually have costs, others of them don't. And what I picked was this one here in the top corner that's just called Lightbot One Hour Coding. That's the one that I've selected. Uh, there's one right below it here called Lightbot One Hour Coding 14. I would imagine, although I'm not 100% sure, that that one was actually produced later. Um, and, and I'm not 100% sure of even what the differences are. That, but the one that I'm going to be using today is this one here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll take a look at that. Let me just cruise back over here. I'll bring that application up right here. And we'll begin. So to get started, quite simply, I'll press this play button here right in the center of my screen. And then what I want to do is I want to just go ahead and select the basics. So these are all of the options that are open to me. When you first get this, so if the first time when, you, when you're running this app, you're only gonna have the first option. So we'll just go ahead and we'll select number one. So there's three commands that I'm gonna learn here. Let's see, let's go ahead and press play. All right, so we're gonna start from the very beginning and it's gonna give us a little bit of help to let us know what we can expect. So it's going to, it's gonna ask us to go ahead and light all of the blue tiles the walk command allows me to walk forward. The light command tells me to light up a tile. Let's just move on here. Got a little bit of latency here in my recording with the, uh, the iPad broadcasting to my screen, so bear with me. To program me, press the commands below to add them to the main slot. Got it. When we're done, we press the green play button. Perfect. Let's go ahead and begin. We know that we can come back to these instructions if we need to. We'll just go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, we're standing in this one particular square. We know that we have to move forward twice and then light up that tile. So I'm going to drag moving forward twice and then the light and I'll press play. And that's exactly what we got. So I'll go ahead and move on. We'll see what challenge we have next. All right. So we've got some new commands here. The left command tells me to turn to the left counterclockwise. Obviously, the right command is going to tell them to turn right. Got it. So let's go ahead then and move on. We'll make use of these new commands. Let's go ahead and begin. So to get to this blue tile, I'm going to move forward one time. I'm going to then move right. I'm going to move forward twice. And then right again. Move forward. And then light. So I've got a little bit of latency here, so you'll have to excuse me. These are the commands. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press run and we'll see what we got. Looks like that worked. Let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so looks like we're doing good. There is a jump command now that's going to tell us to jump and that's the spring command that we see here in front of us. In other cases, it's going to tell us to jump down. Okay, so that's going to tell us to jump up or down. Let's go ahead and get started. We know that we have to jump up a couple of times. Let's first do what we know is obvious. We have to move forward and then we jump. Then we'll go ahead and turn left. We'll move forward. We'll turn left again and then we'll jump. And then we'll move forward and then we'll see if we, thought, if we can light up the blue tile at that point. So let me just go ahead and press play on that and let's see what we got. Looks like we did it. That's good news. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so it looks like you got a blue tile over here. We got to do a couple of jumps. We got to jump up once and jump down once. So let's go ahead and move forward two times. And then what we'll do is we'll turn left. We'll jump and then immediately jump down and then we'll light that tile. Let's see if that works for us. I'll press play. And it looks like we got it. Terrific. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, I've got to light all the blue tiles and I've got them all over the place here. 
So we know that we're going to first jump down and that's going to put us on that first tile. So we'll just go ahead and light it up right there. Then we'll jump down again and that puts us between those last two. So I'll just go ahead and I'll turn left. I'll move forward and then I will light that tile. Then I'll turn left again, but twice so that I'm facing the opposite direction. I'll move forward twice. All right, move forward twice and then I'll light it up. So I've got all my commands here in place. Slight uh, technical glitch there, I lost my connection to the iPad. So let's go ahead and run this and try it again, make sure that everything that we just did works. I'll press play. It does light the first one and it does light the last one as well. So I think we're in good shape. We'll go ahead and we'll move on. All right, it's getting definitely pretty interesting. So we've got to jump up a couple of times, turn around, light up some tiles and then jump up again for the last one. I think we can manage this. First thing we'll do is we'll just do two jumps. That's gonna take us right up to that top there. We'll move forward one time. Then we'll turn right. That'll give us the ability to move forward two more times. Put us right there on that first blue tile. That will light up. Then we'll move forward and light up that other one. Then we will turn right. We'll jump. And then we'll light the last one. So just enough space there to get all those commands and let's press play and see what that does. All right, little bit of latency here. There we go. That's everything that we wanted it to do. That's terrific. Okay, let's see what we got. First thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and jump. Then we wanna turn left. We'll move forward at that point and we'll jump again. That puts us on that first blue tile, which will light up. Then we'll turn left. We'll move forward two times before we turn right. So let me put that right command in here. That gives us the ability to jump and then move forward once. And then lastly, we'll light up that last blue tile. Let's press play and see what we did. All right, I think we're in good shape. Fantastic. So that's it. We we cleared the first level. So you see that what this is actually doing is it's giving you a, somewhat of a basic idea of how to uh, employ commands to have the character kind of do what it is that you want to do. So these are very basic concepts as far as programming is concerned, but it's a really good start. And I think what we're going to do is just kind of explore this app and see what else we can do as we move along our, our journey to learn how to code. So I really do appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, please be sure to drop a like on that video. It really does help me out. And then be sure to subscribe. I've got more of these videos coming. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.